weekly contest 308. The problem that I have chosen is the medium level problem which is minimum amount of time to collect garbage. I'll be walking you through this example as well as it'll help you build the understanding of this question why the presentation so let's quickly move on to it and i promise once you will go through the entire video this question would appear to be a cakewalk to you just remember one important point that picking up one unit of any type of garbage takes one minute of time remember this it will help us in understanding the entire algorithm now let's get started with the building the understanding of the algorithm. I have taken the same one that was specified in the question. So we have the garbage configuration something like this. The first garbage is of type glass. The next garbage is of type paper. The next garbage junk is of type glass and paper. And the next one is of type glass and glass. There's a third type of garbage that is also there which is metal which is not in this case. So in detail, how many trucks would be needed? Two trucks would be needed. So the green one signifies the one that is responsible for collecting the glass garbage and the purple one is responsible for collecting the plastic garbage. It is also specified in the question that the cost of travel from this index to this index is of two units, from the first index to the second index is of four units and from the second index to the third index is three units. So if I ask you guys how far these trucks would be traveling, they will be traveling to the last indexes of the respective garbage type. For example, the green truck would be going up till this particular location and the purple truck would be going up till this particular location. Let me just represent the indexes as well. So 0, 1, 2 and 3. So the green truck in order to collect all the grass garbage this green trucks need to come up till this particular location and the purple truck needs to come up till this particular location because the last index for the plastic type index is the second one. Also it is specified in the question that it takes one unit for each truck type to collect the garbage. For example, uh, this garbage will be collected by the truck in one unit of time. This garbage would be collected by the truck in one unit time similarly this garbage would be collected in one unit of time this garbage would be collected in one unit of time in total how many units of time is consumed two units is consumed similarly here as well so what we need to do we need to identify the total time consumed by these trucks in order to completely collect all the garbages that are there so let's do some manipulation now and let me just change the color of pen for better understanding so in total, how many garbages are there? So let's count those garbages up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's sum up them and we get 6. That means 6 units of garbage in total needs to be collected across various types of trucks. Uh, green, purple in this, in this case. And what do we need to identify next? We need to identify the travel cost for each truck type. What would be the travel cost for each truck type? Let's compute that up. So let's do it for the purple truck first, which needs to come at max up till the second index. So the travel cost up till over here would become would come something like this. 2 plus 4, which, you, which gives you 6. So this gives you 6. So let's add this up. And uh, the total travel cost for green type truck comes out to be 2 plus 4 plus 3 which gives you 9. So how much is the total out of these 3? It is 9 plus 6 is 15, 15 plus 6 is 21 which is your answer. So this is what was needed in the equation and for computing the total travel cost for each type of truck what we can do? We can create the prefix sum. So the prefix sum for this particular array would come something like this 2, 6 and 9 and we can keep track of the indexes at which the plastic gar garbage is there in the at last the glass garbage is there at last so the plastic garbage is at second index so this directly gives you the value 6 which will give you the travel cost for the purple truck and similarly the glass garbage is at the last index 3 the value corresponding or the total travel time corresponding to 3 is 9 and you can directly extract these values up. Pretty simple and straightforward. In order to conclude it up fully, let's quickly walk through the coding section. 
in the first go what i have done i have created three variables p last index that means garbage type of plastic storing the last index of it similarly metal last index and glass last index the fourth variable that i have created is total time i start iterating over the input array and i check what is the current character in that particular garbage string if it is p i update my p last index to i similarly if i if the character is m i update the m last index to i else i check if it is g i update the g last index to i along with this second i also update my total time equal to garbage at i to character array dot length so this gives me the number of elements that are there in my gar each garbage string and i simply add its length into the total travel time because in the question it says that uh one unit will be used for each character so one unit for this one unit for this two units for this and two units for this let's proceed ahead uh, at line number 21 i have st started iterating over a loop and i create the prefix sum using the travel array and um, moving ahead at line number 25 till 30 i have basically uh, i'm basically updating the total travel time if my p last index is happens to be equal to 0 I don't add any value. Otherwise, I extract the total travel time corresponding to p last index, and I add it to total time variable. Similarly, I do it for the uh, I do it for the m last index as well and g last index as well. At line number thirty three, I simply return the total time value that has been set after the entire manipulation, and it's exactly the same thing that I talked about in the presentation as well. So let's quickly submit it up and conclude the question. Accept it. The total time complexity of this approach is order of n. And the space complexity is again constant time in this case because we are not creating any array, we are not storing anything extra. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this session. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead. And stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.